Hi, everybody, and welcome. Hi, Barbie. Oh, <laughs> hi, Barbie. <clears throat> okay. Hi, everybody, and welcome back. Hi, Barbie. Yeah, hi. Can I just quickly do my intro? Thank you. <clears throat> Where was I? Okay. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to my. Hi, Barbie. <clears throat> Girl. Hey everybody, the Barbie movie era has started, so welcome back to another video, and today we're gonna be taking a look at the Perfect Day doll from the Barbie movie. And before we start, I'm Jamie, and I like to make toy videos here on my channel, so make sure you like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell if you would like to stay tuned for more toy video content. So here she is, and I have to say I really, really love the theme of the packaging design on all of these dolls. It just brings so much nostalgia back. It just reminds me of all the Barbie dolls that I had as a kid back in the 90s. I love that the logo has a foil iridescent sheen to it. The side is decorated with bees, the logos, and her dream house. On the back, we get a photo of Margot in the car, along with a welcome note that reads, Greetings from Barbie Land, wishing you the best day ever. Now it's time to take her out. I always love it when doll boxes feature this kind of packaging where you don't have to rip anything off. You can just undo it. I actually started getting the Barbie movie dolls quite late because I was still financially recovering from The Little Mermaid from the month before, but thankfully they came just in time for the movie's premiere here because our movie premiered on the 28th of July, so it kind of worked out in the end. Her retail price is $25, but here in Asia, she actually retails for 50 bucks. But I have to say, um, even though she was kind of perceived as a playline kind of doll, she's actually pretty great, even down to the packaging. There's a lot of like kind of fancier plastic tabs holding her down instead of the usual ones. And she is out of the box, and let's have a 360 look at her before we get into the details. So overall, fresh impression, I'm already in, in love with her. I She's just so cute. I, oh, I love her already. That is the review. You can go now. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Details time! So the face sculpt, oh, I will say I was a little bit mm, when those leaked photos came out, but from experience, I know that you can never judge a doll from a leaked photo with bad lightings or bad angles because you can really only make the true final judgment when you see them in person, and this is the same case here. In person, she is Margot spot on. Like I can see Margot from all the different angles, front, sides, up, down, everywhere. I like the sculpt, I like the open mouth grin, and the really cool thing I noticed about her sculpts are her nostrils. It's not gonna be weird, hear me out. So at first I was looking at my doll and I was like, hey, is that an era because one of her nostrils look bigger than the other? And I looked up Margot Robbie's actual photos and it's accurate to her face. And it's just so fascinating and so cool that down to that little tiny detail, they decided to capture it. Honestly, so awesome, and I'm grateful for no pixels. For her jewelry, she got her dangly white daisy earrings, as well as a matching necklace. I kind of wish the earrings were facing to the front so we can still see it. Yeah. She also got her pink satin ribbon, and in the movie it's way in the back of her head, but I think they put it on the top of the doll's head so that it's visible in the box. Then we got the infamous bang. So the bang is pretty gelled, and from what I've seen from other people's videos, it's also pretty thick with lots of hair. For the rest of her hairstyle, it's just pulled on the sides to form a little high mini pony on the top of her head, and the rest are just falling down to her waist, and I do believe it's Saran hair. It has a typical kind of frizzy box hair that needs a little bit of work. Moving on to her dress, so for her top, it's actually nicely structured, fits her very well. Um, it attaches with velcro on the back, and the belt actually goes all the way around too, and has a little plastic white buckle on the front. She also has a matching beaded bracelet. Now moving on to the skirt, so I was actually pleasantly surprised because I didn't think it would flare out this much, but it does flare out a lot. The pleats and the folds are also nicely structured and ironed. It's kind of stiff and kind of very straight liney, but I don't know, I'm also kind of living for it. It's very pleasing to the eyes. And finally, she has her pretty pink pumps with a little heart-shaped bedazzlement thing happening in the tip. The heels are kind of squishy, so they will kind of bend under the weight of the doll a little bit. 
Now this last part shook me because she actually comes with fabric undies. I was not expecting that at all when I saw it I was like <gasps> but it's actually really super cool and I appreciate Mattel for adding that in. For articulation I think she does have the fashionista body so she moves at the neck, the shoulders, the elbows, the wrists, hips and knees. So for my overall thoughts, the Perfect Day doll is the perfect doll for you to start your Barbie movie collection with. It's decently priced at $25, at least over there for you guys in the States, but it's actually nicely executed. There's a lot of things that I love about her and there's like only very few minor things that I actually do have a complaint. And it's just one thing, and I'll just say it, it's the bangs. <laughs> I don't know how hard it would have been or how much more money it would have costed them to actually do the split bangs in the middle. But that's the only complaint I have actually, to be honest. Because now I have to figure out how I'm gonna fix that, but I will get to it. But other than that, the details are movie accurate, they're nicely replicated, and she just looks really pleasant, really cute. And I think $25 is also a nice way for people to just go get it. You know, they like the movie, they're not technically doll collectors, but hey, it's just $25 and the memorabilia from the movie. So it's something really nice for, you know, all people to get. You know what? I would have loved for the dress to actually also have a tool underneath <laughs> maybe it's not asking too much but um i'll just let that pass because the dress structure actually does a nice job of kind of staying in its own shape so yeah all right so that is it for my review on the perfect day barbie doll from the barbie movie so thank you so much for watching you can also let me know your thoughts in the comments down below do you agree with what i've said do you disagree or are there any additional points that you want to make make sure to sound off in the comments below you can also check me out on Instagram at Chamey Creates for my toy photography. I cannot wait to start all the edits of the Barbie movie dolls. And of course, if you enjoy the video, you can thumbs up, like, subscribe, and share. It'll really help out my channel. And you can also stay tuned for the rest of the Barbie movie dolls because I will be reviewing them as well. But for now, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye!